हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर कॉर्मे चैन चैनल बिफोर यू स्टार्ट इफ यू आर न्यू टू आवर चैनल ऑफ इफ यू डोंट सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल देन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल एंड देन वॉच ओके लेट्स स्टार्ट द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट मैक्सिमम फ्रिक्वेंट सवेर सम विच इज ए क्वेश्चन ऑफ जून लॉन्ग चैलेंज ऑफ कोर्ट सेफ ओके लेट सी द क्वेश्चन विदाउट एनी डिले ओके हियर द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इज गिवेन दैट इन दिस प्रॉब्लम यू विल बी गिवेन एन एरे ऑफ एन एंड डिजर्ट्स एंड यू हैव टू चूज ए नॉन एंटी सवेरे विथ द मैक्सिमम पॉसिबल स्कोर एंड द स्कोर ऑफ अ सवेरे इज कैलकुलेटेड एज गिवेन फॉर्मूला and that the formula is the sum of that subarray the sum of the elements of that subarray into occurrences and occurrences is the number of occurrences of that subarray in a okay i will explain you in very easy way so we know that what is subarray okay and uh, here we have to choose a non empty subarray with the maximum possible score and how that score will be calculated by this method means the sum of the all the elements of that subarray into occurrences occurrences means the number of time it's occurred in that array a okay uh, some of you may be understand Uh, those who are not understand let's go through a easy example yeah here i take four as the size of the array and uh, the elements are 1 4 4 4 okay before that if someone doesn't know what is a array then you can refer here A subarray is a continuous part of an array, an array that is inside another array. For example, consider the array one, two, three, four. There are ten non-empty subarrays. The subarrays are one, two, three, four, one, two, two, three, three, four, one, two, three, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. In general, uh, if the size of the array is n, then there are n into n plus one by two non-empty subarray. so yeah this is for the definition who doesn't know the subarray okay let's start with that example okay here i wrote already all the subarrays okay so i didn't uh, need to discuss and uh, i will not discuss what how the subarray will be find and all about that okay so yeah so what will be the score of 1 we have choose 1 as a non empty subarray and what will be the score now uh, we, we know that the score is the sum of the subarray elements into occurrences here the sum is 1 and the number of occurrences is 1 uh, so 1 Into one, our total will be uh, score will be one. Now the next subarray is one four, and which is the sum is five. If we sum one plus four, then it is five. So here five into one. So the result is five. As there is no occurrences of one four. Here it is only one four. Okay, so for one four four, the score will be four plus four eight plus one nine into the occurrence is only one. So it will be nine. And uh, again one four 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 four. so likewise here the sum will be uh, 
and the occurrence is, is 1 so here the score is 13 so likewise here the sum is 4 but here we can see that there are 3 occurrences 1 2 and 3 so the answer will be 4 into 3 so 4 into 3 now here which is 12 Now here 44. So for 44, uh, not 44, that is 44. Okay. So for 44, uh, the sum is 8, and uh, the occurrences we can see there are two occurrences. One is 44, and another is here 44. Yeah. So we can see but there is two occurrences so you can write 8 into 2 16 okay so okay and for this for this you can see there is a 4 4 4 but there is no occurrences means there is only one so the sum is 12 and the occurrence is 1 so sum is so score is 12 so okay uh, for the uh, so you can see uh, we get all the score of all the subarrays okay we get all the score of all the subarrays now we have to find the max from this so for that we will check the value is 1, 5, 9, 13, 12, 16, 12. So here what is the answer? Forty-four, four four, which is the value is sixteen. Yeah. So answer is equal to yeah. I think you got it. If you don't got it, then it's okay. We will discuss an another problem, which is the given test case. Okay. Okay. So here uh, we will discuss the given test case. So I wrote all the sub there is and its code and its corresponding score. Okay. So first we will discuss that how this output will come. Okay. So as you see that 10, 10 is a sub array of this array, yes, and how many occurrences? 1. So I wrote that 10 into 1 and the sum is 10 so the score of that server will be 10 and for 10 8 10 plus 8 18 18 into occurrences is the 1 so it's 18 likewise uh, 10 8 minus 20 so the sum will be minus 2 and the occurrences will be 1 so here the output is minus 2 so for 3 into 1 so for uh, 2 8 minus 25 so the sum is 3 and the occurrence is 1 so this is 3 and 10 8 minus 25 5 so for this array the sum is 8 and the occurrence is 1 likewise 10 8 minus 25 5 5 so the sum is 13 and the occurrence is 1 so the score of that array is 13 okay and uh, now for 8 have done from here now go here yeah. 8 for 8 the sum is 8 and the occurrence is 1 and then 8 minus 20 the sum is minus 12 occurrence is 1 
so minus 12 into 1 and then 8 minus 25 so here the sum is minus 7 and the utterance is 1 8 minus 25 5 minus 2 into 1 the sum is minus 2 and the utterance is 1 8 minus 25 5 5 the sum is 3 and the utterance is 1 likewise for minus 20 I have got all the surveys and its corresponding sum and occurrences respectively so for 5 where we discuss for 5 you can see that 5 there is sorry it will be not 1 it will be 3 the sum is 5 and the occurrences is 3 so 5 into 3 is 15 yeah for likewise 5 5 5 5 for 5 5 there are two occurrences here here one <coughs> or this one so there are two occurrences so the output will be 10 into 2 20 so yeah for this the score of that server is 20 for 555 five, five, the sum is 15 and the occurrences is 1 and the score is 15 and yeah we have all the score we have all the score of corresponding pairs so the the maximum score will be the output so here we will see the 20 is the maximum score so the output is 20 ok now I think you all will be I hope you all will be understand the question now the time for end ok how to solve it ok so if you do like uh, brute force or uh, navy actors ok then what you will do then you will do what uh, you will find the, all the surveys like this you will find all the surveys like this and for them you will store the score of corresponding and uh, for that also before store you will f do a function occurrence which will give the input give the integer output occurrence. so that's a very good that's a very navy approach okay so i think uh, that will not give you the correct out that will not give you the 100% in this question you will get max to max 10 points ok here I will give the hint for 30 points ok use hashing by using hashing you will score 30 points ok and uh, for 100 points we will make the video for uh, our subscribers only so do subscribe after 500 subscribe subscriber i will show you how to score 100 in this question so for 30 points you will use passing and you will get 30 points 30 points okay that's it Happy coding.